Whoa! What the hell? Why is everything so weird? I don't know what's going on. I was gonna do a Deadpool review. And now, I don't know where I am. Every, everything looks the same, but everything's like different. No matter. I don't have to worry about it. I have the... Infinity Gauntlet's gone. There's only one person that would be able to take it. And send me into... What I can only assume is Limbo. And he took my Deadpool shirt. Well, that's just great. There's only one person I can blame for this. It's Macabro. Macabro stole the Infinity Gauntlet. Sent me to Limbo. Probably took over my channel. Limbo doesn't seem to be that different, actually. Just everything's weird looking. Hmm. I don't have a means to get back. I don't have the Infinity Gauntlet. What do I do in Limbo? Am I going to have Wi-Fi connection? Is it going to get uploaded somehow? It just... Poof, ends the mind. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I don't know if he stole my channel. I suppose I could use some vacation time. Need some relaxation. But, it also helps me reflect. Yeah, reflect on stuff. Like, so what's wrestling lately? You know, I've been following wrestling for a while. You know, start with Hulk Hogan, say your prayers, eat your vitamins. And yeah, some, a lot of people that try to revisit the old stuff say it's kind of goofy. Like, they, they were literally just like comic book characters come to life. But that's what I like. I like the absurdity of wrestling from time to time. Sometimes they would put up really cool, you know technical match, like, with, um, Randy Macho Man Savage. That was a good technical match for the Intercontinental Championship. Bret Hart was a really good technical wrestler, too. But I don't know what it is about WWE. They always like the big, muscular guy, and not so much the technical guy. But that's where they're losing ground. A lot of people don't like the, uh, the old, um, ways. They, they like seeing a good wrestling match. They like seeing... You know, technical technical wrestlers actually give a good performance and, you know, do stuff. High flyers. I, I consider myself lucky. I've been... Uh, I grew up with both of, uh, the best of both worlds. I saw wrestling, uh, American wrestling with their over-the-top shows. And I saw Luchador wrestling with high flyer stuff. So, I appreciate both styles. I, I don't... I don't consider I have a particular fondness for either one. I, I love both equally. But I have heard a lot of people complain about WWE that, that they don't want to move beyond their old ways. You know, they want to recapture old nostalgia. And like I guess with most things, you have to evolve. You can't, you, you know, stay the same forever. Things around you change, even though we don't want them to. You know, I, I, I personally, I don't like change happening like that. I like things. To progress normally. I've mentioned this before. It's why I love Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is great because you start off with Goku being a kid. And then you have Goku, you know, getting married and having kids and grandkids. You know, it's a natural evolution of a character. And, but it didn't happen like, you know, except when Goku went to train with Pico, uh, with uh, the good side of Piccolo. They made a quick jump uh, between that. But, you know, every, every, everything else was... Relatively following, so so while I personally don't like things happen changing like that, uh, I I do understand that things have to happen. You know, life has to move on, uh, especially now that I'm older. I kind of thing you have to accept. So I don't know why wrestling, especially WWE, doesn't want to get with the times. I mean, I don't want to lose the goofiness of wrestling. It's one of its uh, actual charms, you know. Having something like the Bludgeon Brothers. The Bludgeon Brothers are these two big muscular guys that have hammers and, you know, that's their stick. Or, you know, when the Shield came up, it, it was a guy, of, a, a trio of military guys that would beat people up. Or the Wyatt family before WWE destroyed them. The Wyatt family was fun. I, I like the Wyatt family. 
So, but they don't, they don't build up people anymore. One of the best thing about the Attitude Era is that they build people up, you know, uh, out of necessity, mostly, but you had people like Austin, The Rock, Triple H, Kurt Angle, uh, you had staples like The Undertaker, and, and they would still build people up, like the Hardy Boys, like Edge and Christian, uh, like the Dudleys, you you had uh, the Chris Benoit, um, Eddie Guerrero, you had a whole bunch of people that, you know, helped the company evolve, and you had people like Austin, The Rock, Triple H, Kurt Angle, uh, you had staples like The Undertaker, and, and they would still build people up, like the Hardy Boys, like Edge and Christian. Uh, like the Dudleys, you you had uh, the Chris Benoit, um, Eddie Guerrero, you had a whole bunch of people that, you know, helped the company evolve, and lately, um, if that's not the case, they still maintain their own, like, five people, and that's all you get. When we have good talent, I think WWE right now has the most talent to build from. They, they could go with Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, um, AJ Styles, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Asuka, Becky Lynch, uh, Sasha Banks, uh, Charlotte Flair. Even what they're doing now with Ronda Rousey is good, but... They don't learn from the mistakes of their competi competition, like WCW. WCW died because, you know, they wouldn't pe put people over, and then it was just always the NWO, the NWO, the NWO, and that bored people. That's when Austin came into the scene, it was more popular, so... So, yeah, I don't, I don't get... Why that happens? I guess, you know, I, I kind of get it. You know, you you, especially Vince McMahon. He's an older guy and he's stuck in his old ways. And I, I guess I can relate because I'm stuck in my old ways. I like physical media, and everyone now is dumping physical media in exchange for streaming services like Netflix or or uh, Hulu or or torrents. People love pirating movies and downloading in torrents and. And doing like that, and I, I, I like going, well, I haven't done it in a while, but I like going to the movie theater. I like, I love the movie experience. I, I love, you know, sitting in the seat and seeing the picture in a big screen with great sound and enjoying the experience with other people. You know, it's fun for me to see a movie with other people. Uh... Even though I don't know the people, but their 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 reactions, they, they react to something that surprises me, or I react a certain way that surprises other people, and that's the movie experience. That's what I like. And when I really like a movie, I, I like to own it. I like to physically own the movie. So whenever I feel like watching it, watching it, I can just pop it in, bam. So yeah, I do kind of understand, you know, the stubbornness of not trying, of not wanting to leave behind your ways, but, you know, if Goku had never gone into that adventure with Bulma, he wouldn't be a Super Saiyan, God-level, final instinct kind of guy, so, you know, you have to evolve. You have to have willpower. Willpower. That's it. Macabre teleported me with the power ring. I have the green power ring of willpower. People can change. People can evolve, but still enjoy what they like, of course. So that's my ticket out of here. I just have to think of all the emotional spectrum and get the power rings, and that's how I'll, I'll escape limbo. Yes, this is going to work. This is going to work. I have the will. I have the power. I have the power. Okay, I'm going to get my channel back. I gotta get out of limbo. Yeah, family that I gotta get back to. Yeah. Willpower. That's it. Macabre teleported me with the power ring. I have the green power ring of willpower. People can change. People can evolve. But still enjoy what they like, of course. So that's why I take it out of here. I just have to think of all the emotional spectrum and get the power rings and that's how I'll, I'll escape limbo. Yes, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. I have the will. I have the power. Yes, I have the power. Okay, I'm gonna get my channel back. I gotta get out of limbo. I got a family that I gotta get back to.